All right, we're live. What's up, everybody? Hello. I'm Sunny the Badger. Oh, did you say you're Sunny? I did. <laughs> I'm Angie Mama Badger, and we have ba Baby Badger in here with us today, too. Yes. And we've got Toby Northern from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And we've got, oh, she changed her name. <laughs> Misty the Faux Badger from Nebraska. <laughs> Welcome, guys. So we are live in our Support Bikers group. And we're live on our Badgers in the Biker Lifestyle page. But the whole point of our lives is to let you guys know that we have a Facebook group. So come join our Facebook group. Again, it's called Support Bikers. And um, join the group because we got lots going on. We got over 30,000 members in there now. And we do a live in the group every Tuesday at 12 Eastern. But on the 4th Tuesday, we do in the evening for those that can't do during the day, which we completely understand. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern. And today's topic is, what'd you name it, Sonny? Um, eventful. Today's <laughs> topic is going to be eventful. Because my title originally was too boring. Right. <laughs> I made him change it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, it's all about events. I don't know about you, but one of our favorite things to do is go to events, Daytona Bike Week, Sturgis. Um, the question and the problem is, where do you find out where all these events are? What's happening? What times it's happening? I know we, we go to a lot of these events and we're always struggling with this. So what time's the concert? What time's the bike show? What time's the bikini contest? What time <laughs> is whatever, right? So um, I know Toby's days. always looking for the bikini contests. <laughs> hopefully, this will help. hopefully this will help everybody um, in what they desire to see. So we've, through the years, have gone to different websites online ourselves. Um, last year when we did the World Record Poker Run, we, of course, wanted to make sure our event was in as many online event calendars as possible. Um, so we had put a list together that we also have, which was cool, one of our attorneys, one of our sponsors, Edwardson and Pattison, and they're the Oklahoma biker attorneys out of Oklahoma. Um, they also have on their website where you can go to it and be able to pull up um, some events too. And Amy has for us our first one um, that we'll share with you guys, which is a big one. Uh, we found out about it because we were at a local event and the vendor was like, this is the website we go to as vendors to be able to find those events that are going on and to know, you know, when we're going to book our, or where we're going to book our next event. And that one, as soon as Amy's got it, is called um, cycle, cyclefish.com. So she's going to share a screen. Let me see. Add we screen. Go. There we go. And let me remove that banner so you guys can see her screen. And then I'll put in the I'll put up in the comments, I'll put in the comments as well, the, the website for you guys to be able to click on it and go to it. So Amy, walk us through. Okay. So cyclefish.com, um, just how it sounds and you can come to your home. Well, it goes directly to the motorcycle events. Um, so if you see all the tabs up here at the top it has home motorcycle events, biker friendly places, and so on, but we're talking about motorcycle events. So if you scroll down, it will, it's very organized. I was very, very shocked and surprised, but it's nice to have everything in one place, you know, to go to. I'm sure it doesn't um, have everything on it because how can we have everything? Mm -hmm. But it looks like you can, I think you can add them in too. Cause you can, yeah, you can, upcoming events, past events, and create a new event. So you can create a new event, which I should get cracking on, right? <laughs> Our event coming up. So January, and then you can click through the pages. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's pretty legit. It's nice. We've noticed it's, yeah, it's all the different states. So if you're looking to travel, especially, and you want to go to another state, so it's not just... Right. Um, a local 
site that's only going to have local events. This is going to be nationwide events. It does have local events in it too, if the local people put them in there. But I'm pretty sure that all the big guys now know that this is where they go to put the big events in the different states in there. So there you have it. There's cyclefish.com. Um, well, and so the, to me, this is a big thing, especially, like I said, if you travel like we do, um, when we're going to be in an area, to will be able to look up and see what's going on in that area. Um, maybe hit a bike night. Um, you, you can also go on Facebook. Um, there are events on Facebook. You can share your events into our group, supportbikers.com. Um, support bikers, our Facebook group. Um, so, I mean, there's lots of places, but one place where everything is all together, this is one of the best ones I've found. Pretty cool. All right. So this one I just jumped to. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let me move my screen over. Do I just leave mine up, Angie? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no! You can take yours down now. Um, it's in. The, it's behind the scenes. Now we have up um, on the screen. This one is called um, Thunder Thunderpress.net. So um, let me. I'm gonna copy and paste for you guys and put that in the comments. Um, I like this one. That it, it's pretty slick looking. Um, Cyclefish has done a lot with theirs because it was pretty old school. It was definitely like an older, um, an older site that um, needed some updating. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to see that they actually um, did update. Their website. This one looks, um, really, really. This one looks nice too. So Thunder Press is obviously a publication. They've got an online publication, but they also have. Um, their events calendar for you guys to um, click on and search as well. So they've got it listed by um, list or month and you can choose your dates um, or when it is. So again, this is gonna be like a nationwide um, calendar um, But we've got, like I see, Gibtown. That's here in our area, guys, in Florida, um, coming up in a couple, or not this weekend, but the next weekend. So, um, how these are clickable, it looks like, so it'll be able to take, take you in, um, give you some more details. Cool. This one's even got vendors wanted. So it's even got where you can go. looks like they're pulling from Cyclefish too. I'm getting there. I think a lot of sites do that because mm -hmm. Cyclefish is kind of the big dog in the arena that I've, that I've noticed. Okay, so that one is, and I'll go ahead and remove it from the screen. That's local just, magazines, guys, are another good place to find your local events. Mm -hmm. I know we have Steel Horse Magazine here, um, and I know James puts everything in there. Um, yeah. The biggest problem with that is you don't always have the magazine with you. You're out <laughs> and you want to look up something, so that's where these websites really come in handy. All right, I'll let Amy throw up on the screen the next one. All right, Amy, throw up. Um, you had the next two. <laughs> oh, did I have the next one? Okay. <laughs> yes. I was like, that's good. I can pull it up still. <laughs> throw it up there. Don't throw it. <laughs> you, you want me to do it? <laughs> um, I've got it tabbed here. If I can just, I got so many screens going on that. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a screen, any screen. I know. All so right. while we're doing that, guys, where's everybody from today? Go ahead and put your state in um, the comments so we know where everybody's from. I know there's uh, about 40 of you on here, so um, I want to see 40 states. Okay. What was the next one, Amy? Can you help me? <laughs> I can do it. I can bring it up. Hold on. You got it? Okay. I got it. Guys, good help is so hard to find. <laughs> hey, now. We were all playing. I'm about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to be throwing up. This one's bornderide.com. Yes. <clears throat> and I'll uh, be. I'll we go got ahead. Peru in the house. That's cool. And Florida. All right. And Sunny, if you can help throw it up on the screen. You want me to throw it up on the screen? Yeah, because I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you have to add it. I can throw up. There it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's still circling. So hopefully, okay, it looks like it's showing. So this is born to ride.com, um, large national motorcycle events, rally events. So you can go see other things, you know, TV shows, radio shows, magazines, but national events and events. Um, we're on national events. So you just put in the dates, choose a category. Right now it looks like March, 2022, not 2023. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be in 2023, right? Um, 81st annual Daytona Bike Week is on there right now. And then there's one for July. So, I mean, really it's a good, another good place to go. You can add your motorcycle event here. Okay. Well, I think Born to Ride is a national and a local publication because I believe there's Born to Ride here in Florida. Right, right here. Yeah. Oh, for motorcycle or Florida, Southeast Georgia. <coughs> So you can drill it down more locally if you're in, you know, the Florida, South Georgia area, or whatever. Um, that's another way you can look this up. Okay. Next one is. Do you have that one, Amy? Yep. We I have Mound City, Missouri, <laughs> in the house, and we got Washington and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Welcome, everybody. So this is bikeweekevents.com. So it shows the upcom upcoming bike weeks, Daytona Bike Week, Arizona, Thunder Beach, Myrtle Beach, all the places that is warm and nice right now. <laughs> but it looks like the bike weeks are right here. Stupid ads. <laughs> lots of ads, lots and lots of ads. The ads help pay for the website, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. guess, you know, I guess that's true. Um, we get frustrated seeing ads. I do too. But being in the social media business and the website, I mean, that, guys, is what helps pay for this because you get it all for free. Somebody's got to spend the time, and it takes a lot of time to get all this information uploaded into our website for you. Huh, and. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but it looks like you can just choose on the the state here. That's pretty cool. Probably not much in Nebraska right now. July. Steel City. <clears throat> All right. Next one is lightningcustoms.com. I do have that one up in the tab. I'm trying to get that one up. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll just share my entire screen since then. Okay. Lightningcustoms.com motorcycle events. And I'll put that in the chat here in a few minutes. But <clears throat> here's another one rally information. So I don't know who Lightning Customs is. Anybody else know? I do not. No. No. It looks like it's just an events calendar. I don't see that this is any kind of a publication. I'm curious now. I'm going to click on the home. No, this is all about rallies and calendar. So that's Very cool. Nice. They spent the time to put this together and it's been going on since 2003. <clears throat> So here's another, it looks like you can submit an event on it. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next is me. I'll copy that one into the. Copy link address and paste. All right, I just put that one in the chat for everybody too, so they can click on it. We're going to go through and when this is all done, we'll have um, this live video. Of course, you can see it at any time. You just scroll through the timeline and find the live in the description. We'll copy and paste the links. Um, and then we'll also, 
we're going to take a clip of this video too, and we're going to upload it into the media tab on the group. And um, so it'll be its own video. And in the description, I'll have the links too for you guys. And then we were talking about this. I mean, we got our supportbikers.com website. So um, we're talking about taking all these links and put it in on the website. So all you guys have to do is go to supportbikers.com and then you'll find all the different, different links there too. All right. Awesome. Next is going to be Eagle, Eagle Rider. I have it up on my screen. Oh, I have it. There it is. There it is. So EagleRider.com. Eagle Rider like... also rents motorcycles, right? Uh, I don't know. I believe so. I believe Eagle Rider is a motorcycle rental place as well, guys. So this is up to date. Looks like you can browse by all events, rallies, shows, rides. They have it all separated. That's pretty cool. Lots going on. There's the Sturgis rally. August 6th. Yay. I like pictures. I'm a picture person. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> nice and organized. All right. Um, a lot. So there's different clubs out there, too. Um, it looks like, so Karen from Ireland was helping out my mom as well when they were looking for places. And it looks like they got a couple of women um, clubs that have their own websites and they posted events on their on their um, websites. So the next one's going to be posted in the chat here, womaninthewind.org. Who knows about them? Well, I'm not a woman, so I have no idea. <laughs> Toby. All right. So upcoming Women in the Wind events. So 2022, they've got their information out. San Diego, California, it looks like. Apex, North Carolina. Motok in uh, Oklahoma. So there's some women events. And Amy's going to pull up the next one. So the last one is womenonwheels.org. Wow. I've heard of that one. All right. And I just posted it, the link in the chat for that one. So I know a lot of people will go to um, Facebook to look for events. <clears throat> which will serve you, you know, events and stuff that are local in your area, which is right. great. <clears throat> but if you're wanting to, you're wanting events in other states, it's a little bit harder to navigate Facebook, I think, when trying to find events. Um, but it's definitely a place to go to. And then there's a lot of different Facebook groups in your area that you can join and some of them are designated and they specifically say on their um, events and, you know, in a, in a specific you know, state or maybe a specific area in that state. So you can always do a search in Facebook in the group section. All right. Thanks, Amy. Yes. Um, Stu. So, where else does everybody find their events at? Does anybody have any any suggestions or places that they've gone to? Um, what is it? What was that one, Sunny? That um, meetup? Is it called meetup? Meetup? Yeah. Oh, like we did. I mean, so yeah, but meetup. I've only seen it in the business world. I don't know about motorcycle events. Yeah, I've seen it for like hobbies and stuff. I don't know if there's a lot of individuals that use it for the motorcycle community, but um, 
meet if I know is another place that ha that you can put events in there. So you can always look to see if there's a meetup in your area. So that's another thing you guys can do to help us out in our group. If you have local events, um, if they've got an event on Facebook, share it in there. If not, create an event in our group so all of our members can see these events. Um, you know, that's, a, that's just another way you can support, right? You're just bringing info for the people that don't know about it um, into the group. And, uh, you know, that just helps us all know more about what's going on in the motorcycle community. Yeah, but I suggest putting like a hashtag and then the state or the and hashtag in the city something because then um, in the group you can search by hashtags. And so if you're looking for a specific state or an area, you can look for that hashtag. So make sure when you do your description, you put the put some sort of hashtag in there for people to be able to to find it. Since we are a group that's you know internationally. <laughs> We got we got people from Germany, huh? Germany, Peru, <laughs> Nebraska. I mean, all over the world. Yeah. Um, so we do have events that we do, huh, guys? <laughs> we do. We have moto meetups too for support bikers, and so we're putting together this week is it's our goal this week to finish it. It'll probably take next week as well to go through and decide. Um, what our plans are for 2022. And um, those will go on our um, Facebook page or in the Facebook groups and on our websites. Um, but everybody is invited to come to our support bikers, Moto Meetups. If you've never been to Moto Meetup before, um, oh, somebody just put up Eventbrite. Yes, Eventbrite does have some motorcycle events. Yeah. No place to look. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So, um, Moto meetups are just, that's just what we're calling them. So we'll pick like a destination. And um, sometimes it's been just gathering, like, let's say at a bar or something and just hanging out and get to know each other. Or we've done um, rides um, like we did when we went to Eureka Springs. And um, we just put out there that anybody that wanted to join us on a, on a ride, because we had somebody, we had switchback bar, not somebody. More than somebody. We had Andy with Switchback Bar um, there in Eureka Springs, you know, take us on a take us on a tour um, of his area, which was cool because here we come from Florida and, you know, we we like to travel on new roads and we don't know where to go. So um, that was cool because we went from Arkansas to Missouri. So we did a covered bridge tour in Pennsylvania. Yes. That was yes. fun. Then the hog time. chapter. Yeah. And then the hog chapter. So we, um, I guess this is good. We can give like ideas and stuff of what we did last year. So people know, but, um, last year we put out there that we were at the Keystone Harley Davidson dealership. They were nice to have us come do their bike night on a Friday night in September. And then, um, we're like, we want to do a ride too and do a cover bridges. So their hog chapter put that together. And so that Monday, which was what that's labor day. Mm -hmm. We, um, we went and there was like, how many of us? Somebody kind of like 40 some bikes. Yeah. Um, and we did covered bridges and we did like, what was there? 10 different covered bridges that we went in in Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania was beautiful. And we never would have, you know, gone, <laughs> done all those back roads and stuff. So um, that's another um, event that we did this over the summertime. We met up in Daytona um, in October. We had a moto meetup. So we had a bunch of different moto vloggers um, that came and joined us, um, which was cool. <laughs> Tell me back. Um, I like and... the other picture better. <laughs> <laughs> yep, donkey's ass is always better. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we had a big moto meetup, which there was, I don't know, 30, 40 of us um, that day, too, that we just met um, at the bar, the local bar there, and got to, got to hang out. So... Um, that's the plan this year is we'll let you guys know where we're going to be. Um, and then you just need to look for the information because we're putting it out there. Um, thank you to everybody too. Oh, Amy's put up on the screen, the great plains moto meetup girl. So you want to <laughs> tell everybody about, um, what you guys are doing there in Nebraska? Well, we're still working out the details, but, um, it is set for May 14th, 2022. Um, in Lincoln, Nebraska at Frontier Harley-Davidson. I know they're going to have, um, I believe there's a, a bike show in the morning for women. 
women's bike show. Mm -hmm. And then there is also going to be a truck, Harley Davidson truck. The so demo truck. Demo, the demo truck. Demo yeah. truck. There we go. Um, but we're is still working Mother's on the details. Day? What? Is that Mother's Day? I hope not. <laughs> is it a Sunday? It's a Saturday. Okay. So it'll be day before Mother's Day, I think. Hmm. Look at Toby's baby. It's a Saturday. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's not my baby. It's my Is that an wife. Aussie? I don't know. Like a mini <laughs> shepherd or something like that. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. Yeah, it's my mother in law's. And that's why you see me looking around because I'm watching for it. Because if he doesn't go out every like 20 minutes, he pees everywhere. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's better than what we're dealing with. That's all I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> And the problem is he's latched onto me like crazy. Nobody else. So he's Aww. so sweet. I love puppies. So anyway, we're gonna meet with Frontier. Um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, so we can put some more details out there. But the vent is out there. I posted it. The link. Um, it's gonna be great fun. I'm excited. Um, let's make sure it's. Um, yeah, we're okay. So real quick, guys, another way you can support is you can go into that that event, whether you're going or not, and you can click that you're interested or going because that shows it to that many more people. So even though you may not be going, a friend of yours might see it that can go. Right. Does that make exactly. sense? Exactly. Okay. And, and the reason why we, we're doing this, this is the second year that we're doing it, but it's like a mid Midwest, you know, it's the middle of the states. So I know a lot of people are looking for somewhere where they can meet up um, in the middle of the United States. And that's that's what we thought of. So um, we had a good turnout last year. It just gets a little bit bigger each year. Last year it rained on us, so we changed the date. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. But share it. Um, share it forward. Share the link. If Like Sunny said, if you guys can't go, share it forward so other people can see it too. I'm trying to see if I can't. If I'll copy it and it goes into both. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Um, Miss Windroad is in the back. Awesome. We can bring her in. Hi. He does. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you feeling? You feeling better? Um, I feel like somebody has a strap around my chest. Oh, no. Ah. Yep. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. I don't want it. <laughs> no. Nope. I described it. You should describe it when I had it that, like, you take a balloon, put it in a tumbler, like a coffee tumbler, and try to blow that balloon up. And it, like, as far as you can get it, no matter how hard, no matter how much air you put in that balloon, it ain't going beyond it. And that's how it feels like when you're inhaling to exhale. It's like your lungs won't go beyond a certain point without like a, some de a significant discomfort or pain. Mm. It sucks. Well, we hope you get better soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, Great Plains Moto Meetup. I'm just copying. And who's in the background? <laughs> <laughs> There she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody came to visit us, showed up late last night. Why did you come to visit us? Because she needs an oil change in her car. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> right. So, yep. And she needs to wash her damn bike. Yes. My damn bike. <laughs> oh, she no. Is it her bike? I loaned her a bike. Oh, okay. And she still hasn't washed it. I mean, think about that. August. She hasn't washed the bike. Yeah, it's bad. It is bad. Sunny's like, it's starting to rust. You can see rust spots. So, yeah. So she's going to have to spend like two days just scrubbing the bike. I can help with that. Actually, you guys have the stuff. So you, know you can help. Well, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> you send me like, some flight information and I'll be right there to do it. <laughs> be more than happy to come right now. <laughs> the flights were like $99 from Dallas. 
So that's how, that's how much the canceled flights were. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but been like thousands you, of flights like, canceled. <laughs> if you fly, maybe not into Tampa, but into the Clearwater St. Pete's airport with the smaller airline, Southwest or uh, mm-hmm. Frontier, it's a little bit cheaper than flying into Tampa International, even though Clearwater is an international airport as well. All right, uh, let me know when, most, you, when you want me most, there. Most people, well, he, he can't come here now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, not <laughs> your place, but there. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to hug, we can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Allegiant flies into um, Pentagorda, basically, where we're okay. at. And they, so there's. There's some good, good flights, prices and stuff that come in. All right, you just That's let me know, baby badger. People, people make the mistake of flying into Tampa, 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 or Orlando. There's Sanford, which is you know an hour and a half away, but you know like there are other airports with better rates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm sure if you don't mind riding on the stack of cocaine, you can fly into the Everglades. Probably pretty cheap. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I would love that. And some cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be new. And then you can come. So the big event this weekend is um, like it's a swamp. It's a here swamp. we do the swamp thing. Yeah. So um, there'll be trucks and bike shows and. So yeah, you could come be with the alligators with us in the middle of Florida. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> I'll miss a family Christmas to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, other events that we know for sure that we are doing that you guys um, will get you more information on. And um, for sure, we're going to do Daytona, right, right Wind Road? Yes. And it's another moto meetup in Daytona. Yes. It's we going to be on, big. <clears throat> we were on the phone. We did a video chat with Gina with Open Road Radio yesterday. And um, so she's to get us the her plans on when she's going to be in Daytona. If she's doing the first week, second week, or both weeks. Because um, we'll be doing some stuff with, with her. Um, and that'll kind of decide on... I think when we can do the the moto meetup and schedule schedule that. <clears throat> so that but so that's gonna happen. So stay tuned. If you guys are coming to Daytona, we'll get, get you guys a date, time, location, and when you can do a moto meetup with us. We have a question. Yes. Jeremy Prescott wants to know if we're doing PA this year. Um, here's what I know. Um, Keystone Harley Davidson is partnering up with their town or some someone to do a bike, like a bike weekend, um, a big event, right? And so they really want us to come. Um, that is a couple weeks before Sturgis. So we would literally have to hit PA and then jet all the way to Sturgis. So I don't know if it's doable or not. But if we can, we would love to because we loved PA and we have really good friends that live there. Yeah, yeah, and we got a sponsor. Good day for and, and we do have a sponsor there too as well. So, um, if we can make it work, I'm sure we will be there. We just don't know yet. I'd love to. Pennsylvania was awesome, wasn't it, Amy? Oh yes, my gosh, she was one of my I love favorite. Jeremy, I love <laughs> Pennsylvania, all time favorite, mm-hmm. especially yeah. riding up there at this time of the year. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, so, the time we went was great, perfect, perfect weather. Oh, it was nice. amazing. One of my so, favorite yeah. places to go. So I guess I let the other cat out of the bag. We were definitely going to Sturgis. We will have an event opening day at the Buffalo Chip. So <laughs> you know, we'll, have some kind of, we'll have some kind of moto meetup, and then we will be um, <coughs> taking the parade into the stadium. So, um, so yes, huge party, opening day, Sturgis. Can't August wait. 6th. We'll meet with Woody and well, at least we'll meet with um, Marilyn Stemp um, from the Sturgis Buffalo Chip um, this month to go over all the details. And so they're excited to get everything together so that we can start telling everybody about that. So that 
that will be coming soon too. So yes, <laughs> and I was excited too because um, there's there's a couple here in this area, Jamie and Chris, and they got to go to Sturgis last year for the first time. We didn't get to see them um, when we were there, but I she had posted because they started a Facebook group here in this area, and they had posted like a cover photo um, was of Sturgis. And I was like, oh, we're going again. You guys going? It's like, yeah, we are going. They've already got scheduled to go to Deadwood. So I'm like, yes. So I'm going to rope them in to um, there you go. this out and um, being part of this event with us. So I'm excited. So if there's anybody else out there watching this and you're going to Sturgis and you want to get involved um, some, some, somehow, some way, uh, let us know because as everybody on this screen knows, it takes a team to put stuff together. And even if it's just you guys telling everybody else that it's going on, that's a lot <laughs> that helps us out. So and I got plans. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Aside Do we from believe it? I, I miss things out there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't, like Windroad has a bunch of YouTube videos that I think she's put out. 29. Wow. So 29 videos. So if you guys are curious about Sturgis and that area, just go to her channel because um, she's got a ton, ton of videos for you guys to watch and get you all excited about going. See what yes. you're missing out. <laughs> oh, paddleboard's coming this year. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. That's yeah. All fun. <laughs> so um when road will be there for a month everybody if you want to <laughs> uh, just about just about <laughs> on the water just about i'm, I'm going to change my legal residence to south dakota right. <laughs> could be like bell <laughs> i know i know i'm going to go real estate shopping while i'm there yeah so cool but we're going to plan out the rest of our 22 and where we're going to go um, the rest of the year. I would say middle month we will we will have a good idea what's, what the plan is. Yeah. We got to get busy. <laughs> if you guys know of anything that's going on um, event-wise that you think that we should go to and attend, uh, let us know too. I yes. had I posted. We have um, our supporters, so we have people that – um, our supporters and so they subscribe to us and get special behind the scenes stuff from us and I put out there last week um, <laughs> for them to let us know what events that they um, are going to or know about and I know Robert Truex had mentioned a what was it a four state poker run yeah five state four or five, five states state, yeah. four or five state um, poker run that's happening and it's like Oklahoma Kansas, Kansas, Arkansas. But then, Maybe. you know what he said? He's like, but I think it's the same weekend as the Great Plains Moto Meetup <laughs> that Amy's doing. <laughs> Dang it. So, I don't know. I have to go to whichever one's the closest. Yeah. <laughs> Amy's face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, Karen just got home. <laughs> he just lost you. <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. So, Are you wearing the new shirt? <laughs> yeah, Karen is now sporting a new Stevie Bo shirt. Merch. Thank you for all your support, girl. Um, appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys. So leave all your comments of places that you go to find events. Leave all your comments of what events you guys are planning on attending, um, and uh, any that you suggest we attend. That uh, maybe that hidden gem that nobody knows about right. that you really that you really enjoy. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? How there was a uh, Monday post today this morning in the Support Bikers Group asking about what places do you plan on going to during 2022. And I had no idea you all were talking about this today. So kind of going coincides with that. So did you put the post up or somebody else did? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Had like a poll of different locations to go. Uh -huh. And if you're gonna go to some place that's not listed, put it in the comments and 
Uh-huh. Oh. Somebody put something like Motobot <clears throat> or something. And I'm like, what the hell's a Motobot? Is that a fake rally? You know, and <laughs> Motobot. Motoblot. Is it M O T O B L O T? Motoblot? I don't know. I, I think, think so. So, so Motoblot, we didn't know about Motoblot until we brought, um, well, David Schumann, he's with um, That's the one Safety that posted Warriors. it, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Motorcycle Safety Lawyers is out of Illinois. And um, so, Motoblot is a big event that they have there in the state of Illinois. So, that's, yeah, that's a big one. Um, and who else? Oh, Gina with Open Road Radio, too. So, she had talked about it. So if you're in Illinois, that you you either know about Motoblot and it's M O T O B L O T, yep. or don't go. Yeah, go check it well, out. I tagged him in the comments, and I'm like, hey, share a link. Or tell us the details on this. So. Yeah, yeah, Motoblot.com. I'm just going to make sure that that's the website, and I can put it in the link. So if you haven't yet, go on the go in the support bikers group search Toby Northern just like it is on the screen and you'll see his what he's posted so what he's saying is in the timeline you're going to see where he had posted a poll asking everybody what event they're going to do in 2022 and um, you can add add in events on it right when did you post this Toby this morning uh, yesterday morning I haven't seen it yeah I, know. I, 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 know. For it, I think I missed like two or three. I, I might have been in a meeting all day, so I might not have seen it. <laughs> you talk to your bosses about more vacation time so you can travel to Florida and have <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> no, I started using a, because uh, whenever we have these live chats or streams or I listen to others, if it makes me think of topics, I have a sticky notes thing on my laptop and I'll go on there and type in that thing for like a question or whatever so that I can share it later on. Tired of forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> CRS yeah. or yeah, CRS. Is that what's called, Sonny? What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Moto Motoblot. I just threw it up on the screen. Oh nice. <clears throat> that just says to go there just because of the wolf. Right. Any yeah. cool. So the but what is a motoblot? Riders, drivers, spectators. Where is it? So there's the website. You guys can go check it out. Um that's oh, kind of Indian at the top. I ain't going to that. <laughs> <laughs> Always one in the group. Always I'm just one. kidding. I can kill this. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> he's toby yep all right what else oh, yes. i mean we do this every tuesday um noon eastern time um except for the fourth wednesday we're on here fourth tuesday you wonder how I can do things. And it's pinned <laughs> in the calendar at the top of the groups. Yeah. So um, see you guys on here. I saw Richard was on here. I wanted to say hi to Richard. Oh, you said hi. Yeah. Uh, hey, Richard. Um, so thanks for coming on here, you guys. Um, if you're on the page, you can hit the share button. If you're in the group, you can't share it because everything's private. But, but you can bring people into the group <laughs> and then they can see it. Yes. Invite people, invite people to the group so that, yeah, so they can see what's going on. We're always doing something in this group, guys. We did end motorcycle I spy challenge. Cry, cry, cry. Um, Sonny. <laughs> um, poor Amy, thank you so much for coming up with the challenges each week. We appreciate it. You did an awesome job. Um, we gave it a good run. Uh, wind road therapy needs a, um, trophy um for doing it every single week <laughs> we appreciate it um and now our focus is going to be on something else besides motorcycle ice by <laughs> each week um but we could bring it back in the 
in the writing season. It's not writing season here, but I know other places they, you're still writing, but I mean, at a later time, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. this summer we can, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it again. Um, it's possible. Yeah. Right. But participation is key. <laughs> 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 so, um, all right. Well, I think that's it for this. I tried. <laughs> Appreciate everybody coming on Merry here. Christmas. Christmas. We'll see you next Tuesday. Have a happy new year. Happy new year. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. Three Kings Day. Two days. Two days? Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>